All right, YouTube, I got a recap of round one of my game with Madman of Operation 1.5.2 of Kings and Kaisers 1.5. And that's a mouthful. But anyway, test out the new rule set, just one on one. And uh, here we go. Here's a recap of round one. Before I get into that, I forgot to go over the income that I collected as US. I saved, uh, I think it was 16. Yeah, 16, so I have 35, 36, 37 IPCs to spend, and I have one technology token still. Okay, so uh, onward from there. Uh, Austria-Hungary, first thing first. Sent their cruiser in the Pacific down to 49, where the German, uh, where the German cruisers followed suit. Um, Austria-Hungary sent uh, a bunch of stuff into Serbia and uh, didn't have much luck, but neither did the Serbians. So we had we have kind of a, a weird standoff here um, in terms of how it usually goes. And then they sent a sizable amount of stuff to Hungary and Galicia, basically pulled everything away from Italy. And of course they did not declare war on anybody. Uh, Russia, in turn, aligned Romania and did a counterattack into East Prussia. Um, or not a counterattack, but they attacked into East Prussia uh, to contest it, and the Germans uh, took it back. Um, didn't have a good a good amount of luck there for um, the Russians. Um, we did play. We are playing with a, re a slight revision of two national objectives. Um, for this national objective, uh, Russia only needs to control or contest two territories instead of three, control or contest them, and. Uh, and what else? And then this uh, Austro-Hungarian national objective, we are changing to two IPCs per each of these territories, Poland, um, Romania, Crimea, or Western Ukraine, while they're at war with the Russian Empire. So changing that as well. Um, anyway, so yeah, Austro-Hungary is gearing up towards a big assault against Russia and uh, not much else. And uh, uh, Russia built... Um, started building up their air force. Austria-Hungary also built a fighter and uh, consolidated into Belarus and Western Ukraine with the bulk of their forces. Germany, like I said, counterattacked into East Prussia, also uh, contested Poland, sent a lot of stuff down into Galicia as well, and there's plenty of more stuff on the way. Um, no declarations of war have been made against Britain, and uh, Germany we had a couple uh, errors that we had to go over with our videos uh, over here, but uh, uh, nevertheless, this is what it is right now. Um, and Germany went and actually success successfully took out Lorraine and took control of it, and then the French counterattacked it, counterattacked it, and uh, took it back. Uh, didn't take it back, but they contested it. So that's cool. Um, uh, Germany, like I said, they didn't declare war against Britain, so that allowed them to move over here into season 19 and congregate with their subs there. Also brought over a transport and loaded it with infantry and artillery, so that's cool. Uh, the Zeppelins were also involved in the Lorraine, in the Lorraine attack, and uh, yeah, basically it. And uh, they also built another fighter here in Rhine province as well. Um, so there, everybody's built up their air force. They, uh, Madman got a field base as his tech, and he uh, initially thought to place it in Qingtao, but he decided to hold on to it instead. So that is what he's doing. And uh, uh, what else? France did not get a field tech. Um, Britain got uh, received poison gas, but they have decided to hold on to it for the meantime. Um, I say they, but it is myself playing them. But anyway, um, and uh, Britain built a few a few more cruisers in 20, moved a sub over into that sea zone uh, 19, and then um, what else? Down here in Africa, Germany walked into the open French Equatorial Africa and built up in German East Africa. Uh, Britain did the same in South Africa and India, as well as... Um, like I said, the uh, C units over there, and they also brought over a few Canadian artillery, uh, and Britain also used the Anzac forces to uh, bunch up together up in uh, Queensland because Germany has two loaded transports off Carolinum. Um, so that's interesting. 
Um, Japan, also neutral. Um, just kind of congregated. They got a, a military base as well for their field tech in Korea. So they placed that. Built a transport and a sub. And not, my, not, not much else to that. Um, the Ottoman Empire. Again, also neutral. Has uh, congregated into the usual two fronts that they like to do. And he put his, brought his cavalry for, mo for, mo for mobility up into Anatolia. But I assume all this will be going into Russia. So we shall see. And uh, yeah, go from there. Um, and he brought his cruisers into the Med over there. Um, and built more land units. Uh, Italy is still neutral. But seeing next to no Austrians on this front. Uh, left the Netto open. And seeing France in trouble. Sent every almost almost everything, uh, pretty much everything that could make it, up to uh, Piedmont, and uh, brought their transport over, brought, bringing a few more units from from the islands over as well. Um, the United States, also still not at war, was able to get a field technology, which was a machine gun, and share that with Russia. Russia had previously already gotten a machine gun as a tech on their turn. And they, of course, I forgot to mention the Far East units are making their way over as well. Um, the U.S. Uh, saved, mo bought a tech token, but saved most, uh, saved the rest of their money to carry it over, and sent what they could towards uh, the border with Mexico to uh, um, determine the, uh, not determine, but the to affect the outcome of the Zimmerman telegram if he decides to do that, and. Uh, congregated their Atlantic fleet over here as well and uh, basically just kind of going to want to see what happens uh, see what see what Germany see what Germany does with that fleet and then decide to act based on that so that is a quick recap of round one I'm gonna real quick think of everything anything else I missed oh of course the casualty bin the boneyard dish as it is so aptly named there we go. This is what happened. We got a few bombs dropped by the Zeppelins. We got neut uh, the neutrals of Serbia and Romania that were aligned. And uh, plenty of Russian, French, and German units. Also, a French machine gun taken out. So, fun stuff. Gearing up towards a very different game from what we've had before. Uh, especially uh, a different approach to the strategy that we that we saw implemented last game, but uh, this time with uh, a little more a uh, little more zazz. I'll say it. I'll, I'll put it that way. So there you go. Uh, that's it for round one. And stay tuned. Man, man should have Austria-Hungary coming soon.